An EMP or electromagnetic pulse is basically an electromagnetic energy burst released from a rapid acceleration of charged particles, or to keep it simple, a powerful shock wave of energy released from an explosion. The larger the explosion, the more intense the shock wave and the more damage it can do to electronic equipment. This can occur on a very large scale in nature, most likely from a solar flare, or it can be artificially produced through the detonation of an atomic device, particularly if that device were to be detonated in the atmosphere over a target rather than directly on a target, as that would allow the shock wave to travel to its maximum potential or near enough to it. Literally, within a millisecond of contact with this pulse, all electrical systems within the impact radius would be disrupted and very likely destroyed as a result. This would render nearly all modern vehicles, communication devices, and nearly anything else you can think of that uses electricity and has a computer chip virtually useless. In other words, everything that we've come to rely on in our modern world of conveniences would simply stop working. Modern cars and trucks wouldn't start, aircraft wouldn't work, bank records would be gone, IRS records would be erased, which probably wouldn't be a bad thing. Phones, computers, and televisions would stop sending and receiving signals, and utilities would shut down. Goods would stop being delivered, and in fact, there would be no way to produce those goods, including food. Consider the fact that most farms are now industrialized and without constant maintenance, all that growing food and livestock will die in the fields very quickly. In a nutshell, that means no transportation, no communication, no money, no food, no electricity, and no running water. And for a lot of people, unfortunately, that means no hope. According to studies done in 2008, it is estimated that a total countrywide long-term grid down situation lasting from between 6 to 18 months could cause the deaths of nearly 90 percent of the population and to date virtually nothing has been done to prepare for the possibility of such an event due to the fact that the government does not see a countrywide or global emp circumstance as being realistic all those steps have been taken for government to protect itself in such an event, nothing has really been done to protect national infrastructure. That is to say, they're covered, the rest of us are not. We would be on our own, and for most people, that would not work out very well. We have seen through many examples, current and past, just how many people will be behaving when a disaster strikes, even a small one. Without access to basic needs and modern conveniences, many people will turn on each other very quickly in an effort to acquire much-needed resources. They will beg, borrow, and steal, and as they become even more desperate, they will eventually kill over the simplest things, and many of them may even kill themselves. Most modern people are not in the least bit ready for a situation where they will be isolated from contemporary infrastructure for six hours let alone six months or more. In fact, I dare say the average person wouldn't last the day without access to their smartphone. Naturally, at first, the government will attempt to maintain some level of control over the population. After all, control is power. But they can only provide so much before they have to back off and take care of their own. How many MREs and jugs of water do you think they can really give out in a feeble attempt to maintain order before there's nothing left for them. It makes more sense to hold the lion's share back for maintaining control over their own military infrastructure in order to prevent mass desertion. And how will the general population be managed after that? Well, they don't call it martial law for nothing. Consider the fact that even if everything were down for six months, that it would likely take three times longer to get everything functioning properly and productively. That's two years after the event to even start pretending to be normal again. So what can you do about this? Take a page from the old school Boy Scouts manual and be prepared. If this is something that concerns you, then be ready for it 
now. Ask yourself, honestly, if I were cut off from all modern conveniences for six months to two years, do I have what I need to survive it without help from any outside source? Do I have enough food? Do I have enough water? Or a water resource that I can rely on? Do I have the medicine or medical equipment that I may need? Do I know who I can trust? Can I defend myself, my family, and my property long enough to outlast the remaining stragglers born out of the mobs of the desperate, unprepared masses? If the answer is yes, then I wish you well. If the answer is no, then I say keep at it. Every little bit counts. Build yourself up one step at a time. And if you think preparing for something like this is foolish, then I would tell you that I would rather be ready and not need it than need it and not be ready. And good luck to you, because you're going to need all the luck you can get. If there's anything you would like to add to the commentary, please feel free to post your thoughts in the comments section down below. Remember to give the video a thumbs up. Always appreciate it. Subscribe if you are new and hit the notifications icon so that you can be alerted to new content as it comes out. Check out some of the other videos. You may find something helpful to you. I sure hope you do. So that being said, as always, stay frosty folks, and thanks for watching.